Hi, in this video, I am going to show how to configure SRT policy using explicit paths. Before proceeding, I will just show you again how our topology looks like. Our topology is same as in the previous videos. We are going to configure SRT policy on PE1, where we will give explicit path as PR3 to reach PR2. Now let us see how to configure SRT policy using explicit path. Go to config mode, then segment routing, traffic engineering policy. Then we need to give segment list, then name, then enter. You can give index number here. I will give index 10. Then I will use um, prefix seed of PR3 that is 16,004. Sorry, uh, MPLS, then label 16,004. Along with that, I have to give the end host where this particular SRT terminates, that is P2's prefix seed. So P2's prefix, P2's prefix seed is 16,008. So I'll give index 20. And then 16,008. We'll commit this configuration. Before proceeding further configuration for configuring SRT policy, let us show check show MPLS forwarding table. And do check show segment routing traffic engineering policy. You can see here only one SRT policy is configured and it is a dynamic. All right, you can see here it is dynamic and metric type is IGP. So what we will do now here is we'll configure an SRT policy with explicit path. Then we'll configure policy. I will give you a name underscore p2 explicit. You can give any name. I have given policy2 underscore p2 underscore explicit. Then you can give, we have to give a color. So I'll give any color. So I will give 1002 and endpoint IP4 address. 1.1.1.8 1.1.1.8 is loopback IP of P2. So then I will configure candidate paths and you preference 100. Inside that I will give explicit then segment list. You can see here there is a segment list that I have configured earlier. So I will give the segment list name and then I will commit these configurations. Once I will commit these configurations, let us show, let us check show segment routing traffic engineering policy. You can see here, uh, segment routing traffic engineering policy with color 1002 is up and it is using explicit segment list right so if you want to check particular segment routing traffic engineering policy you can just give color for color 1002 you can check here so now what i will do here i will try to uh, trace route this okay using uh, oam okay so trace route then uh, i will give srm pls so i will give nil fec so i will give policy and then policy name the policy name is srt underscore c underscore 
1002 EP 1.1.1.8 sorry you can see here our traceout is successful and you can also see here when it uh, starts uh, trace routing and the first label it will put is 16004 and then the, in the label stack it will put 16008 once it reaches uh, 16004 what happens is that we have only 16008 and once it is reaches 16008 we don't have any further labels this is end of the video thank you for watching this video